Hey guys, welcome back to episode uh, 56, I think. Um, 57, I can't really remember. Um, of uh, Vendertron's Fallout New Vegas full walkthrough. We are in Vault 11, and we were wandering around uh, trying to find the Overseer's password to this terminal here. And we just so happen to have found it. It is located in the uh, atrium. You gotta do a little swimming to get through some rooms to find it, but once you do find it, um, open up the terminal and activate it. And then once you get into the terminal, uh, the Overseer's or Order is also here, but then you can also open the Sacrificial Chamber. So let's open that up. And I believe that this might actually have some um, bad people in it. So what I'm going to do um, is in anticipation is just uh, prepare myself with some explosive rounds and my anti-material rifle just in case I got a bad feeling about this okay uh oh it's saving congratulations martyr your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. This must be the special chamber that they spoke of. Where people go to die. Well, hopefully we can stop it. I don't want to die, so... The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. What in the world? Okay. Are you guys gonna come in here with me? Come on. Come on, Eddie. I don't know how I feel about this. Come on, guys. Quick. Please sit in the chair. Get in. The show is about to begin. Oh, uh, I don't know about this. I have a bad feeling. Um Hmm. Okay, well let's sit in the chair and we'll watch the, the video. Show requires that you sit in the chair. And let's watch this little uh this little video. Greetings, martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids, or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier, and remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Oh dear. Okay, this is not good, guys. Arm yourselves. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, um. I don't have any pulse grenades. died. Okay, um, that's the end of that.
and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. All right, guys, so we're locked in this room. Um, I've done this a couple times. The first time I died, the second time Eddie died, the third time I tried to use a fat man, and I died again. Um, so there's, it's kind of difficult. Uh, what I recommend doing is laying some pulse mines down. Or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids. Or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. You can actually lay them in the room. So do that. Do it on this side because there's um, sentry bots on this side. And on this side it's just uh, two small robots that are easier to kill. Uh, and then make sure that you have a weapon that is strong enough to kill these guys. Hopefully, um, although the laser weapons actually work better. But I don't have a laser weapon that is powerful enough. Because the anti-material rifles damage 41, right? Although I might be able to use the grenade rifle, so let's try that out first. Um, and yeah, it's kind of tough. And then also the th other thing is make sure that you have your armor on. You don't want to be wearing a vault jumpsuit here or any other lightweight stuff, because um, you're just going to end up getting hurt. So uh, yeah, so we just gotta wait for this stupid video to finish playing, and then. The skies will open up. So, yeah, I don't really want to get stuck in this room again. If if I don't get through this, um, we're going to skip this part for now, and then go and try and find those filters for the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Um, what, what am I going to give Eddie? Give him the jumpsuit. And... Cartons of cigarettes there. Okay, ready? Here we go. Get ready. Here we go again. Hiding behind the tulips. Okay, go. Pulse mines. Excellent. And sentry bot. We're gonna kill him off. Okay, and we just gotta get him. Oh, uh, looks like I'm out, and I also need to take uh, a couple stim packs, or at least one stim pack. And I gotta get those turrets. Um, Century bot, incendiary grenade. That see, that doesn't really work on them. Um. I need ammo. Yeah, this is what I need. Oh, he's gonna shoot me! Did we do it? Did we make it? There's a turret in there. Eddie's trying to shoot it down. I'll get it, Eddie, don't worry. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay? So make sure that you're prepared. Make sure you've got explosives. Lay some pulse mines down on this side. Oh, and I leveled up. Excellent. Um, wow, it's been a while since I've leveled up, actually. Uh, so I'm going to put some points into explosives, because obviously that's important. Medicine, I'm going to get up to 50. Uh, I'm going to get guns up to 52. And then... I want to put the rest into repair. Good. Uh, and then... Um, friend of the night... Uh, rapid reload. Retention. Cool. Swift learner. Um... I think I want the fortune finder perk because when we start going to New Vegas, um, I want a lot of caps, right? So, anyways, 
So yeah, you're in this room. Um, don't forget to uh, check out these robots because like they have energy cells and stuff, right? So, uh, and then there's also some good loot. Um, not in that footlocker, but uh, if you look around, there might be some good loot for you. Uh, maybe on the other side too. See, the sentry bot has two missiles, so you want you want to make sure that you grab that. And then there's this other room here, so... Um, yeah... So this must be the computer that is responsible for programming everybody's deaths. Um, let's just activate the mainframe. Override lockdown. Overriding complete, system recording. So let's get that automated response. Let's get that. Okay, so we have a note added, so let's listen to the recording. All right, I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not going to send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. Okay. So they kind of got fed up. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. Wow. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. Wow, pretty interesting. So, um, they actually had been lied to the entire time, and um, they didn't actually have to kill anybody to be able to leave the vault freely. So, uh, yeah, um, they were tricked the whole time by the computer. And uh, now we're, we've basically made it through the overseer's office. Uh, we're going to head back up. And there should be a filter here somewhere that we need to find, right? So, um, and I'm not sure where that is. Uh, it says that it's located uh, somewhere around here. I think the filters might be located in one of the lower utility rooms, uh, although I'm not sure. Um, I don't need one of these weapons. Um, not sure where those filters are. Uh, okay, so uh, I did a little bit of investigation. We actually have to go down back to where the overseer's office is. Sorry, guys. Because that's where our differential pressure controller is located. So um, we are going to head down this way, back inside. And we're going to head past the male-female dorms into the administrative part. And then we're going to go 180 degrees right here and plunge down into where the water is. The pressure controller is actually located um, in the uh, hold on mm. Yep, 
Yeah, so there should be some stairs here with some water. Um, you gotta go towards the overseer's office. Um, I think it's towards the this utility room here. So you go towards that and then wherever the stairs are that lead to... Yeah, so the stairs down here at the end. Um, there's a locker here and I think it is just to the right. But watch your breath. See, you can go back up here, so it's okay, right? Um, the differential pressure controller is located just in this locker. See? So, and make sure you bob up for some water. Um, and you can check out the rest of this room if you want. Um, there's a first aid kit, but you can't access it, unfortunately. Um, but do check out the rest of this. Um, this just goes back. Um, there's some other rooms in here that you can check out as well. Um, but there isn't really much uh, of anything, just some ammunition and things like that, so... Um, except where's Eddie? Okay, well, I'm gonna give you some stuff, Ooh, actually. got something good for me? Yeah. Is it a dress? Is it a dress? Dork. Um, metal boxes. Pre-war money. Um, and then there's nothing really behind this desk. And then it just, once again, heads back up to the other side, where we were before. So now that we have that, uh, we need to head back to, um, we're gonna head back to the Brotherhood of Steel. I'll do that off camera, you guys won't have to deal with that or see that. Um, we'll get ourselves rested up, and we'll get some more ammunition, and we'll get ready for the next vault. And we will continue on with that in the next video. Um, so, if you like this button, or if you like this uh, this uh, episode, please click the like button, uh, share it with your friends, and make sure that you comment. Your va uh, your feedback is always uh, valued, uh, and um, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.